your capacity builder is here my name is coach wilfred asukwa how are you guys doing today i am going to be talking to you guys about how religious miracles destroyed nigerian economy and the nigerian youths i'm not sure it's a topic you guys want to listen to but it's just the truth again if you're just joining us on this channel for the very first time welcome to this capacity building channel and i'm always your host to help you and share nuggets that will help you to make an informed decisions and increasing your capacity so let's get straight into it now today nigeria is at the blink of collapse economically and the youths are I must tell you, they are not finding life very easy. Some of them are fainting on the road. Some of them, they don't have no jobs. A lot of them are helpless. And you wonder why. And it's simple. A lot of the Nigerian youths are out there seeking for miracles. Miracles that don't exist anywhere. Again, religious miracles. Don't get me wrong. I believe in miracles, but definitely not where I can use my brain and exercise my mind to get things done. And how has these religious miracles, religious practices destroyed Nigerian economy? So let me take you through a certain journey or a certain memory lane. Having traveled around the world, having worked in several industries, I have come to terms and I've come to the realization that after the creator created us, created the sun, the moon, created so many things that even science cannot explain, even how human beings are formed inside the womb of the woman, science still yet to understand the mystery of that particular you know evolution then if you look at your existence or your life generally we depend on signs from the phone that we use to the computer to the camera to the glasses to the house you live to the clothes you wear they are all signs and what gave rise to science scientists and who are the scientists they are humans like you and i and guess what? They think with their brain. They exercise the power in their minds to prefer solutions to problems, to prefer um, finding solutions to either future problems or existing problems. They are providing services that will help you get by your day-to-day -day operations. Now you will wonder why would an individual invest so much time in religious activities instead of science to improve on those solutions, those resources that are helping us to get by our day-to-day -day activities? Instead of going to spending time in religious activities day in and night. And if you look at the religious activities, a lot of religious activities you will spend Sunday to Sunday. You spend significant hours praying, fasting, and at the end of the day, you still fall back to science. You still fall back to wearing clothes. You still fall back to using soap. You still fall back to even drinking clean water is science. For God's sake, isn't it wise if our country, Nigeria, would have invested more time more resources into improving the discovery of science or improving on existing science related resources one to better enhance quality life and as well enhance increasing our financial um, independence and financial flow into the economy but no we are meant to understand that Miracles are what you need to get by. By praying, by trusting our Creator for miracles, by sowing financial seeds into religious centers. Take note, you're not, you're not giving it to 
people, your creator, God. You are giving it to human. And that you are going to get multiple effects or multiple uh, returns. It has not happened. It's not helping anybody. Nobody makes financial gains by just giving money to religious center in the name of giving to God. You make money when you prefer solutions to problems. When you create a product or you provide services that is globally accepted, even if it is locally accepted around you and you get paid for it. So if my motherland had invested significant amount of their resources and time into discovery and solving world problems of course every road will lead to nigeria to buy from those solutions i'll give you an example i work in the it space as an it consultant i use several tools those tools they've worked on them over the years like jura lucy chat balsamic like mirror like um, alm so many tools that we use in the it space it's been phenomenal excellent the amount of time that we spent in developing those tools listen to me guys there is no um blood money that is as awesome as those tools you know what we do for example jira i use jira even to teach my students i spend close to 400 dollars 400 to 500 dollars every single month i have never spoken to the owner of that platform and you know how many companies are using jira you know how much they pay go and find out so which tools do we have in motherland online that everyone around the world every many organization not everyone anyways many organizations desire to use such tools that they are paying for how many we only have very few right now like paystack that two young nigerians created and some selected um african countries are maximizing it for financial solution that's what i'm talking about how about industries and factories where they provide or create um, products that will solve particular problems that is what will scale us not miracles not religious centers you can tell me whatever you want to tell me but i can tell you for a fact religious miracles destroyed nigerian economy because it made nigerian youths believe that their problems can be solved through miracles miracle money miracle jobs miracle no you need to offer something to get back something in returns that is a word i have for you today and as a capacity builder i have discovered that except you walk except you exercise your brain except you solve a problem except you prefer a solution to a problem or except you produce goods or offer services the economy cannot grow stock i hope this makes sense see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded <laughs>